Hi, this is Esther from Stumpin' Star Creations. I'm glad that you could join me for my Bible journaling today on Easter. So I recently made this card on a YouTube live and I thought while I've got my stamps and inks and everything out, I'm going to use the same inks and colours to do a Bible journal. Now, some of you asked with my last one how I prepare the page and what I do. So I'm just going to show you this process again. So I've got some Liquidex clear gesso. This just helps to prepare those thin pages so it can take um, water if you're doing water colouring or any kind of heavy liquid. You don't need to do this. Um, but I find it useful to prepare my page and also because I've done it from the start I want my pages to be the same. So I squeeze an amount onto a sponge brush, these are very cheap, you can pick them up um, online quite easily and just squirting along the edge and then just pasting it onto my page, going in up and down and then sideways motion and then just drawing the uh, gesso back down the page so I've got a fairly smooth surface it does have a, a rough texture to it I like to gesso my verse that I'm concentrating on as well sometimes I just leave the page to naturally dry I did go in with the heat gun this time just giving it a quick flatten down with the weight of the rest of the book so with my page already in set I'm using Old Olive and this is the first frost stamp set from Stampin' Up now, because I've already done this technique, I've got the post-it note, which I'd stamped and cut out. And this is to mask off my stamped image. Going in with the same leaf, leafy stamp, whatever you want to call it, leaf stamp. And I'm just cleaning up the edges because when I did my first impression, it got a smudge. You may notice that I've got a piercing mat underneath. This just helps me to have a nice flat surface when I'm trying to do the stamping. So we're making a cross shape and leaving the mask where it is and adding another one in on top to mask off the cross. I'll be using crumb cake and then the sprig punch, which is punch the sprig stamp, which is going around the cross shape. Again, like I said at the start, I'm going to do it slightly differently from the card. And I quite like the idea of these sprigs coming out from all around the cross. When you're doing Bible journaling, you're working with a different shape and size area. So you have to kind of think differently as to how you are doing your work. These just lifted away quite easily because I still had the, uh, um, from the moisture from the page. I'm just putting down a two inch circle punch and going in with so saffron. Now, if you watch carefully, this next stage, I managed to smudge my work. I think the ink wasn't dried yet and it just smudged the existing ink that I had. So rather than getting too upset about it, you just follow through the process and I just kept on going anyway so the rest of the picture had this kind of cool effect to it. And then just lifting back that mask and you've got this nice area which is clean in the centre. On my original card I put some flowers in the middle but I didn't want to be sticking anything into my Bible so I decided to use these flowers around the bottom corner of my page in Highland Heather. Then using that sprig pun uh, I'm saying it again, sprig stamp again to do some more lilac onto the page. Now when it comes to typography I'm not the best and I end up just going back to my handwriting <laughs> and rather than having a natural verse I just thought I'd put in the word Easter. I tend to write this out on scrap and then it's the page is see-through enough to be able to go over it. I didn't want to introduce black at this stage, normally I use a black journaling pen but I had a tester with the stampin blends and I figured it worked on the page and it didn't seep through so this is introduced me to yet another tool that I could be using in my Bible journaling. Now the nib is a little bit thick for my liking because it is like a felt tip um, you do get that kind of thickness of writing. I'm just going in and layering on some splatters using the brush end and just to create some splats across my page. 
So I'm using Old Olive, So Saffron and Highland Heather, all the matching colours to go with, with what I've done already. And then just going in with the dark Old Olive to do some shadowing on my wording. I'm using gorgeous grape um, watercolour pencil which is from Stampin' Up as well and to highlight my verse and the verse says Then Pilate announced to the chief priests and the crowd I find no basis for a charge against this man and it's just a reminder that Jesus was an innocent man who came and died on the cross to take away our sins and they couldn't find any wrong with him but yet he was still crucified so I could like to complete my journals with a date at the bottom or somewhere where it will fit in and then I keep a record at the back as to what date I did my journaling, the page it is, the um, Bible reference which is from Luke chapter 23 and verse 4 and then just a short description of what I've done. Thank you so much for watching me. I hope you have a really blessed Easter. Take care and God bless. Do subscribe to my channel and I've got a playlist with all my other Bible journals if you're interested. Thank you.